lift up your hearts, and let make praise and get God a glory and honor in everything that we do. Amen. Amen. He brought us here safe and sound. Amen. All through the years, God has been good to us. He washed over us and kept us day in and day out. So I need y'all to get together and let praise sing this song, this praise song with me. Down through the years, the Lord been good to me. Well, down through the years, no, the Lord been good to me. Oh, oh, down through the years, well, the Lord been good to me. I said the Lord's really been good to me. Come on.
that song been on my heart because God really been good to me. Can I get a witness? I know he's been good to you all too. God really been good to me. I stand right here because of God's grace. Amen. And the scripture I'm going to read from Matthew's chapter 25, beginning with the 31st verse. We went over some on Wednesday night in Bible study. And it just touched my soul that I just want to share it with you. But in your due time, read it and find out which side would you sit on. Will you be on the right or will you be on the left? Scripture reading will come from 31st verse. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all of the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered together all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as the shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on the right hand, but the goats on the left. Where are you today? Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye are blessed of the Father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you for the foundation of the world. For I was at hunger, and you gave me meat. Thank you, Lord. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, The Lord, when we saw thee at hunger, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink, when saw we thee, a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee, or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee, and the king shall answer them, and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, and in so much as have ye done unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. That's the sheep. That's the sheep. That's the sheep. Where are you sitting today? For the, for the one, then shall he say unto them, on the left hand. That's the goat. That's the goat. Depart from me. You curse into everlasting fire. Prepare for the devil and his angels. For I was at hunger, and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you took me not in. Naked, and you closed me not. He's talking to the ghost now. Sick and in prison, and you visit me not. Then shall they say also, and then, then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when shall when saw thee in hunger, or that thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, and so much as you did not to the one of the least of these, ye have did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Where are you? Let us pray. Father, we come, Lord, call upon your holy and righteous name, Lord. 
we know at the name of Jesus that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. But Lord, we come celebrate, Lord, because you chose us before the foundation of the world. You called us sheep, Lord. Now we have eternal life. Lord, we came to praise your holy and righteous name this morning, Father God, for the good thing that you have done in our life. Father, I also, Lord, I want you to bless our pastor as he stand and preach your holy and righteous word. Again, Lord, I say, Lord, Lord, we need thee, Lord. Every second, every minute of this day. Lord, we need thee, Lord. We cry out to our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord. Sometimes when the storms are coming, Lord, we're too shamed to cry out, Lord. But, Lord, in these storms that come my way, Lord, I'm crying out to my Lord. I'm crying out to my Savior, Jesus Christ, because I'm going to get any kind of help, Lord. I know I'm going to get it from you. That's why I praise you like I do, Father. Because, Lord, I never forget, Lord, how you brought me out, how you set me free, Father God. Dear Lord, I ask you, Lord, just strengthen us while we're weak. Bless the sick and shut in around your land and country. Lord, somebody in this room, Lord, allow me, Lord, just like I am, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Father. Comfort our spirit, Father. Comfort us in a mighty way, Lord. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, Father God. Let us praise you. Let us put this other stuff behind. And, Lord, press towards the mark of Jesus Christ. Lord, you are the reason for everything, Lord. Lord, we breathe, we move, we have our being because our Savior, Jesus Christ, Father God. Let us exalt your holy and righteous name, Father. Let us praise your holy and righteous name, Father, for the things you are doing, Lord. Wake us up this morning. Shake us, Father God, because, you, Lord, you shake us, Father. We know we'll be all right. Let us see you, Father God. Let us see you, Jesus, for whom you are. You are Lord the Lord. You are King the King. Lord, you are the Prince of the Princess. Lord, you are. You are everything, Lord, to me, Lord. And I just want to say thank you. Bless us in your son, Jesus. I pray this prayer, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. of applause. Glad to see every last one of you in God's house this day. Good to be in God's house. Thank you, Deacon Hampton. Let's give Deacon Hampton a round of applause. Thank you for opening us up our worship. We thank God for this day and each one of you. Let us stand for our congregation hymn, Pass Me Not. Pass Me Not.
a blue Man. truck. There is a blue truck who left his lights on. Someone went out to see, but did you get the tag number? No, but it's a blue and black two-tone. It's parked beside the fence where the vans are. Blue and black two-tone park marks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Psalms 30. Continuing our series out of Psalms 30. Start with me in verse 1, and we'll follow and read down till we get to our passage of Scripture out of Psalms 30. We'll read to verse 5, starting in verse 1. The psalmist says, I will, I will. extol thee, uh-huh. O Lord. O Lord. For thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee and thou hast healed me. Verse 3 says, O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul. From the grave. Yeah, from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive yes, sir, yes, sir. that I should not go ah. down <laughs> to the pit. <laughs> and if the Lord be pleased, we'll look at verses four and five today where the word of God says, Sing, Sing. unto the Lord. <laughs> O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Verse 5 says, for his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure. For a night. But joy cometh in the morning. A Christian, a believer, thank you, ushers, thank you so much. A Christian, a believer in Jesus Christ. Will show thankfulness yeah, will. and gratitude mm. unto the Lord for the Lord's care yeah, yeah. and the Lord's blessings. Yeah, yeah. Remember, Psalms 30 is a song of faith <laughs> sung by King David for the dedication of the temple which David prepared for but his son Solomon built. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. David, in spite of not doing what he wanted to do, right. we started out this series, we impressed that upon you. He did not do what he wanted to do, but it did not stop him from singing his song of faith. David's song of faith is focused on God and the greatness of God's deliverance. Beloved saints of God today, as we sing our song of faith, our focus should, must be on God and his greatness as he has delivered us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, you have to understand, spiritually speaking, for yourselves, God is a great God. Yes, he is. And I cannot make you to realize it. You cannot make me to realize it. It has to come from God for us to realize that God delivers us. Not sometimes. God delivers us all the time. Over and over again. 
when God gives us that understanding, oh, I love it when seven talks to me. When God gives that understanding, our view will be he is a great God. And he is God all by himself. Regardless of what we get to do or what we don't get to do. He's still God. He's still on the throne. And he still rules. David did not praise himself. But his praise was unto the Lord. You cannot truly appreciate the greatness of God if you're looking at yourself. If you're all about elevating self, you cannot appreciate and you are truly not being thankful to the greatness of God if you and I make this about us. All glory is unto God. All majesty belongs to God. All glory is unto God. David understood in his praise he was not praising himself. He was praising God. Saints here today praise God. Some of us realize and know praising God is just all right. I'm so glad God has given me a heart to glorify him. I know I am nothing. God is everything. See, as a music minister, you can't sing to his glory if you're singing for yourself. I cannot preach to his glory if I'm preaching to myself. Deacons, you cannot serve for his glory if you're serving for yourself. No ministry can be bountiful if that ministry is about itself. And that is our individual lives. Thank God. All glory. All honor. All majesty. That's our song of faith. Our song of faith is a testimony. What David is doing here is the song of faith is a testimony. Woo! of a tested man who is given exhortation to praise the Lord. Yes, now, that's why I say this has to be personal. Yes, Have you ever been tested? Oh, Have you ever been tried? Oh, Have you ever been in difficult situations? See, see, see why a lot of folk don't praise him. They really don't think they've gone through something. And then if they do realize they've gone through something, they think they got themselves out of what they went through. But when you know that it was God when I was going through my test, when you know that it was God when I was going through my difficult time, when you know. Those are the ones who praise God who have been tested and God has brought them through. That's what a true testimony is. When you know for yourself, when you know like nobody else knows. See, I can't speak for you. You can't speak for me. But if I understand what God has done, what God is doing, and what God has in store for me, I will praise him no matter what comes my way. I will say he is worthy. why David here is encouraging in this text in verse 4 David says sing unto the Lord O ye saints not just of anybody O ye saints of his 
Deacon Hampton, God didn't lead you to read that passage of scripture by coincidence. God didn't give us that passage of scripture in Bible study by coincidence. You do understand there are two classes of souls. There are two classes of souls. There is no in between. You're either a sheep which is a saint or you're either a goat which is an ain't. <laughs> I'm so glad you got to know for yourself if you're a sheep then you are a saint. So David says to the saints of God sing unto the Lord Oh ye saints of his. See, David is encouraging the hearer to remember the great works of God. And God did not only causing David to praise, but also causing David to compel and to encourage the saints to praise the Lord. Also, you see, David for himself, he's going to praise him. That's why I say, you got to say for yourself. But in this text, David is not saying I'm alone on an island. There are other saints that's with me. So David said, I will extol thee. For thou has lifted me up. Yeah. But he's saying that in the midst of some saints yeah. and encouraging those saints right. and compelling those saints, right. if you know yeah. that you are a saint of yeah. his, right. join with me yeah. and magnify him. Yeah. Oh, magnify yeah. the Lord with me. Yeah. See, I know I ain't on no island by myself. I know I'm not the only one God has done and is doing something for. I believe as David believed, I'm among some saints who's not ashamed to sing unto the Lord. That word sing means praise for. That word sing doesn't mean honorably sing. If the only thing you can do is clap your hands, you ought to clap your hands to the glory of God. If the only thing you can do is stop your feet, you ought to stop your feet unto the Lord. If the only thing you can do saying sing unto the Lord oh ye saints I told you see the goats ain't gonna sing but let me tell you something don't you wait around on no goat to sing they ain't gonna sing if you are a saint if you are a sheep you ought to be thankful and grateful God has made you a sheep Praise goes forth. That's what that's what that's what that's what singing to the Lord is. Choir blessed us when opening that song. Thank you, Lord. Did you have to you open us up with the devotional song? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But singing to the Lord yeah. is worshiping God. I am so glad. Thank God the cold weather don't stop us from worshiping. Is God the same God on a cold day? He's the same God on a cold day. He's the same God on a sunny day. God is the same yesterday, today. So we ought not be fair weather worshipers when things are going good for us. That's the only time we can worship him. We ought to worship him through the good. Yes, sir. 
through the bad, through the sickness, through the sad. God is good to us at all times. Sing unto the Lord, all ye saints of his. Thank God I'm a saint. Who are the saints? The saints of those who have received mercy. Don't you know God is merciful to us saints? The saints are those who are faithful to the Lord, not to themselves, nor to anyone else. The saints are the ones who are faithful to the Lord. Saints are those dedicated and devoted to the Lord. As I quoted earlier, who lifted them up. When you know who picked you up, when you know who lifted you up, when you know who turned you around, we're here to compel each other, but God's Holy Spirit won't he move you. When his Holy Spirit won't he move you. When he get a hold of you, won't he move you. And you can't sit there with God's Holy Spirit. Jeremiah said, it's like fire. my bone if you ever get hit by some fire you will move David felt David felt as if he could not praise the Lord enough by himself I'm so glad we got worship today. I'm so glad God has brought us here to worship. Because I, 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 don't, I, I don't think I can worship God enough by myself. And so it's a blessing when God sent other saints who come together collectively. We're worshiping the Lord on their mind. All of us go through some things. All of us have some trials. So it's good to know I'm going to go as hard as I can. But I'm glad to know I'm around some folk who don't mind going hard as well. I can't worship him enough by myself. So thank God for some saints who come to worship him. Shucks. God is blessing us with his care. I'm grateful. God is blessing us over and over. I'm thankful. That's why he says, sing unto the Lord. Oh, ye saints of his. And he doesn't stop there in verse 4. He says, and give thanks remembrance ah, at the remembrance ah, of his holiness you see to give to give is to contribute or help achieve or provide that's what I'm saying gotta be a, a body of believers in here who came to contribute thanksgiving gotta be a body of believers to provide yes, that he's worthy. Yeah. See, that's how we give, we contribute our praise uh -huh. and our glory yes, sir. and our honor yes, sir. unto the Lord. Yeah. God has moved upon us yes, to give, yes, but we contribute Thank thanks. Uh -huh. See, thanks oh, is confessing. Amen. And I, ooh. Oh, so many times how people say I ain't throwing no stones at you I'm not throwing but in, in, a, in a secretive way in a subtle way they really are throwing a stone at somebody but this word thanks here when I when I greeted it it said to confess now what are we confessing to throw a stone at or throw an arrow at. Well, who are we throwing the stone and the arrow at? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make it clear. Make it clear. 
I was sales. about you I'm going to throw the stone at myself Lord if it had not been for you who brought me out of darkness Lord if it had not been for you who saved me in all of my wrongdoing see it's easy to throw a stone at somebody else but can you throw that stone? Yes, can you say, I am a man of unclean lips? Can you say, I am wretched and undone? Can you say, I am who I am by the glory of God? That's what true confession is. That's what true thanksgiving is. How God took this old low down scandal, this old no good, corrupt dust, and took his nephish and blew his nephish in me in spite of all my wrongdoing. See, if the body of Christ got honest, we truly can have some worship. If we stop looking across the room, at somebody else and say it's me it's me it's me oh lord that stands in the knee see we gotta get on about me myself and i and when you get honest want the lord free you up and whom the son is set free Is that true? Shucks. Me looking at the room, look at yourself. Why you think the Bible says if a man so examined? Far too long. We want to throw a stone and an arrow at somebody else. No, throw that stone at yourself. You want to dog somebody? Dog yourself. You want to talk about somebody? Talk about yourself. If you want to downgrade somebody, downgrade yourself. Can't truly worship God? And you think everybody else is wrong but you? That's what thanks at the remembrance. I said saints, Christians ought to be thinkers. Look, he says at the remembrance of his holiness. His holiness is his name. His holy name. See, remembrance hmm, is abstractly recollecting, which means I am thinking about God's goodness and his holy name. Not our name. See, we value our name too much. Don't you know the day is coming where there's going to be a tombstone that says Anthony Williams born Born in 1963, ah. a dash, and whatever my date of departure on this earth is, the finality of who I am. So why would I think about me who has a final outcome on this earth rather than think about the one who is the ancient of days? See, if we abstractly recollect what it's all about. See, Thanksgiving is not about the, about the fourth Thursday of November. Thanksgiving is remembering every day. Every day of our lives is a day of Thanksgiving. And the saints we remember yes, it's his name yes, that got us to where we are. Yes, Jesus says, and I, I if I, I 
be lifted up will draw all men all means the saints all saints unto me thank God his name is worthy to be praised and that's why when you all were saying holy 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 that was blessing my name, blessing my soul. Yes, sir. But when you got to that name, Jesus. Yes, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Woo! It's something about that name. Jesus. When you think about the name Jesus, Jesus. you can't help but to say, Jesus. thank you, Jesus. Yes, when you think about and recollect yes, all that he has done yes, and what he's doing right now, yes, let me ask you something. Are you going through something? Yes, Give me some honest. Are you going through something? Yeah. Who is keeping you? Jesus. Don't be ashamed to call his name. Yeah. Who's keeping you? Jesus. Call on yeah. his name. Yeah. In remembrance of his name. Yeah. David says, <laughs> he says, he says, sing yeah. unto the Lord. Uh -huh. Thou has brought up my soul. Yes. No, 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 four. I'm sorry. Sing unto the Lord, yes, O ye saints of his, uh -huh. and give thanks uh, at the remembrance uh, of his holiness, his holy name. Now, will you remember that? Verse 5. Is it clear? Yes, I heard about somebody say, oh, that's clear. Because yes, preaching and teaching has to be clear. Yes, I ain't here just to holler at you. <laughs> I want to be clear in the preaching and teaching of God's word. Notice verse 5 says, for his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. See, the saints will get excited. Verse 5 <laughs> gives the saints four reasons for praise. There are four reasons in verse 5 to give thanks and gratitude unto the Lord. He says, firstly, for his anger endured. Hello? Beloved saints is praising in acknowledgement of the anger of the Lord and acknowledging that the Lord's anger is real. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But it's momentary. Yes, sir. See, that is good news. There are those who always want to say God is a God of love. And they differentiate and stay away that God has a wrath. Yes, sir. God has anger. Yeah. Well, David is acknowledging that God's anger is for real. Yeah. But for the saints, it's only for a moment. Again, you read that. Those who are the righteous out of Matthew, the sheep, will inherit holy uh, eternity in glory. All right. The goats <laughs> well. will be sent mm -hmm. to eternal damnation. And so when you know yes, God has delivered your soul from eternal damnation and gave you a right to the tree of life, see, we look at this thing a little differently. Yes, sir. We acknowledge God has anger, yes, sir. but then we're thankful concerning us. Yes, it's only for a moment. Now, when we mess up, should we be corrected? Yes, sir. And thank God he does it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In Hebrews 12, 6 and 8, the Bible says, For whom the Lord loveth, uh -huh. he chasteneth uh -huh. and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Uh -huh. Verse 7 says, if ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, 
whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. See, I'm glad. delivered me so I don't get mad when God corrects me I'm thankful that God corrects me and I'm thankful that his anger towards me in my wrongdoing is but for a moment but for a moment means it's a, he's mad and then he's through yes sir See, 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 some folks still mad about something. Oh, uh, make it clear, Pastor. Make it clear. And don't even know why they still mad. Right. Some folks still holding some grudges. Yeah, hold on, hold on. And you think you a sheep? Yeah. Holding on to a grudge yeah. that happened days ago. Ah. How can you be like God yeah. when he gets angry with his sheep? Yeah. Corrects his sheep. Yeah. And then it's for a moment. A moment, a moment. Amen. Amen. Come on. Oh, that's clear. That's clear. I hope it is clear. clear. Cause I don't want anybody leaving out of here. Clear. If you're talking about you a saint, clear. and you still holding on. Holding on. Because see, as a saint, the Holy Spirit won't let us continue in that. No, He won't. Holy Spirit won't let. He will correct us. He, and notice the word says scourge. You know what a scourging is? A scourging is a beating. I'm talking to saints here. You know why you getting beat down so bad right now? Because you won't get honest about yourself. You still looking across the room at somebody else. And you getting beat down right now. But when the Lord moves that mess yes, out of you, yes, see, that's good praise time. <laughs> that's good worship time. Yes, that's good time to say, thank God. Thank God that he corrects me. He disses me. And the Lord's grace, uh -huh. even when I'm being disciplined, mm -hmm. is forever. Yes, yes, yes. See, his anger is but for a moment. Yes, but God's grace yes, is forever. Yes, Thank God yes, for the grace of God. Yes, David goes on to say in verse 5, <laughs> that's the first one, for his anger endured but a moment. All right, all right. Secondly, in his favor. <laughs> you see why the saints, man, Come on. why we encourage each other to worship yeah. That's it. Yeah. in his favor yeah. is life. Yes, sir. Notice, oh my God, in his delight, yes, sir. His delight. is life. Yeah. In his pleasure yes, sir. Yes, sir. is life. Yes, sir. In his acceptance of us ah. is life. Yes, sir. What is life? Life is living. Life is flowing. Life is active. Life is being revived. Life is knowing who is sustaining me. Life is knowing who's maintaining me. See, this declaration of in his favor is life. Is given by one who has a long and deep acquaintance yes, with the Lord yes, as his judge yeah. and as his father. Yes, when the Lord has been with you yes, and you understand he is my judge. Yes, when you understand that it is the Lord yeah. who's my father. Yeah. That's why I can say my father yeah. which art yeah. in heaven. Yeah. Hollywood be yeah. thy name. Yeah. Thy kingdom come. Yeah. Thy will be done yeah. on earth yeah. as it is yeah. in heaven. Yeah. Give us this day yeah. our daily bread yeah. and forgive us 
of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass I'm so glad I'm delivered in his in his favor is life. Yeah. Ephesians 1 and 6 and 7 says it this way, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted ah. in the beloved, right. in whom we have redemption right. through his blood, the forgiveness yes, of sins yeah. according to the riches ah. of his grace. Right. Does anybody appreciate the grace of God. I'm talking to the saints. Anybody grateful for God's grace? Anybody appreciative of God's grace? Thank God for his grace. Because when God gives me an understanding of his grace, I can finish this verse out in the truth of my life. Because David goes on and says to his readers, weeping may endure for a night. That's the third part. What's weeping? Weeping is overflowing tears, overflowing sadness. Have you had a moment in your life I mean tears was just raining down your face have you had a time in your life where it was show sure enough dark and you were drinking your tears for water have you had a time in your life I told you abstractly recollect and I want you to think before I close this thing out I want you to think have you ever shed tears and it seemed like the tears would not stop have you ever had times in your life you didn't know where to turn you didn't know whether to turn to the left you didn't know where to turn to the right you didn't know what to do it was just rough and you were crying you were just crying you cried so much you started dry crying the wetness of your tears would not come out weeping may endure weeping may lodge Me weeping may stop over Weeping might come for a night. All right. Weeping may come in the evening. Yeah. Yeah. Weeping might come at the sunset. Yeah. Literally speaking, uh, weeping will spend the night with you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many times yeah. right. has weeping That's clear. spent the night with you? See, many of us, we in our homes thinking we by ourselves. Yeah. But oh, here comes weeping. Yeah. Who got in the bed with us yeah. and spent the night with us. Yeah. I've had many nights where weeping spent the night with me. I don't know why. I have to cry. Sometimes. I don't know why. I have to sigh. Sometimes, but there's going to be a perfect day when trouble will get out of my way. I don't know why, but I'll find out by and by. Sleeping might spend the night with me right now, and I don't know why, but sooner or later, I'll find out by and by. So weeping yeah. may endure yeah. for a night, yeah. but, yeah. But, yeah. but I'm talking to the saints, okay. but joy, 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 joy. in the morning, yeah. <laughs> night and morning. 
contrast it as weeping and night. I'll contrast it. See, weeping is hardships, but joy is rejoicing. Weeping is sorrow, but joy is gladness. Weeping is moaning, but joy is proclaiming. Weeping is worrying, but joy is shouting. Anybody got a shout about the Lord who brought you through the night? Anybody got a shout about the Lord who got you through what you're going through? Weeping may endure for a night. Bird, the fourth part. Anybody like the gospel? Four is the number of the gospel. Why does joy come in the morning? Because the gospel says Jesus Christ, he is able. See, the way we got through what we got through, Jesus Christ got us through the storm. Jesus Christ, somebody ought to be shouting. Jesus Christ got us through the rain. Jesus Christ got us through the sickness. Jesus Christ got us through the pain. Yeah, I have weak. Yeah, I have cried. But I still have joy. And this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. And the world can't take it away. Thank God I got joy. Thank God I got unspeakable joy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Was it night a few hours ago? Was it night a few hours ago? But didn't that morning come? See, morning always comes after the night. Joy always comes after weeping. Don't From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, his name is worthy to be praised. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Praise him. Sing. Bless his name. smiling. We've been through some things, haven't we? But we're still smiling. We've been through some rough times, haven't we? But does the Lord not still have a standing? He will pick us up. Thank God for our Savior, Jesus Christ. Ain't no need to worry. I know y'all got a song. But I, I just got to say this. Ain't no need to worry. What the night is going to bring. Come on, come on. Come on. Give me all of the yeah. Yeah. Ain't no need to worry. On, what the night is going to bring. Hey. It'll be all of the In the morning. In the Somebody say in the morning. In the morning. Oh. 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 Let me hear say in the morning. In the morning. Oh. Oh. It'll be all over. It'll be all over. 
Jesus Christ is drawing someone to faith and repentance. The Lord is moving on someone's heart. Coming to the Lord. The Lord is drawing you to faith and repentance. Come to Jesus. Come to the Lord.
don't give up on God. up on God cause he won't give up on you he's able 